हेलो एवरी वन आई होप यू गैज आर डूइंग वेल सो आम शुभम एंड यू आर वॉचिंग लेट क्रिएट एन एप सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग्स टू टॉक अबाउट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट एन ऑटो इमेज स्क्रॉलर इन विच इमेजेज आर ऑटोमेटिक ऑटोमेटिकली स्क्रॉलिंग इन साइक्लिक वे आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ वीडियो ऑन दिस सिंपल इमेज स्क्रॉलर सो मैनी ऑफ यू हैव कमेंटेड ऑन दैट दैट यू वॉन्ट एन ऑटो ऑटो इमेज स्क्रॉलर सो दैट्स वाई एम क्रिएटिंग दिस वीडियो एंड लेट्स लुक इन टू द डेमो फर्स्ट so this is the image scroller and the images are scrolling automatically uh, this is an infinite loop it will run again and again as it reaches at the end of the image so with that i'm also working on this page controller how we can use page controller so we will cover two topics in this video auto image scroller and page view controller so please uh, watch this video completely to get the better understanding of these two topics and if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and hit the like button and share the video let's create an app so open an xcode click on single view application click on next just give the name whatever you want to give i'm just giving auto scroller and just click on next just create the project where you want to create this project now we have to first move to the view storyboard and first we have to design the collection view you can use any height collection view i'm just it's up to you that how you want to show that scroller a full image full screen size image scroller or a 1/3 or 3/4 three fourth size scroller it's up to you totally now let's i've just created one collection view now let's give the constraints to this collection view so from all top leading trailing it's zero and it its height is 250 so let's make a height to 230 that is good height now we have to change the uh, cell size so let's place the cell on the screen first and now let's take an image in this cell like this so now let's uh, give a full length image to this cell and from all four sides we have to place this thing to zero now we have to add one more thing that is a page controller so let's go for the page controller this one now if we trying to drop this page controller in this cell then it will be part of the cell means every cell so we don't want to make this a part of every cell we only want to make a part of this view controller so we will not drop this page controller on a cell we will drop this thing in this hierarchy of this after after this controller from here like this so it will be not a part of collection view it will be the part of view controller now let's change the height and width of this uh, controller now we have to set this thing on the this collection view then how we can do that if we trying to drop this thing then it will be the part of cell so for that reason we will use this y axis to set the option for this page controller now when it is uh, quite good uh, or we can change it to 190 even 200 is also fine like this now we have to give some constraints to this page controller also so from left it is 20 from right again it is 20 now we have to give one more constraints that is a bottom constraint of this collection view so for that just select the page controller press control and drag and drop in this collection view and as drag and drop you will get this thing and now from that we have to use this bottom so as i place this bottom the constraint for this bottom is setted now let's see that what are the constraints so it's a zero but i want that this is something like a 10 pixel or 5 pixel so from here we have to write 5 so as i pass 5 it will shift it a little bit down so we we need to pass minus 5 over here so minus 5 that means it's a little bit up so our collection view is set up now first now we have to uh, uh, give the delegate and data source this collection view so press control and drag and drop over here so by doing this we have given a delegate and data source to this collection view now let's move to this view controller class first and do some coding part so first let's create the outlet of these two things so this is a collection view so slider collection view like this now this page controller so this is a page page view 
or you can do anything else so i'm just simply writing the uh, copying one array of images and just uh, importing some images from my list of images so this is my uh, array of images so in this i need to copy this array this one i've just write all these things to save the time so we don't need to wait uh, so that i can uh, write all these things again and again so it's simply thing and uh, now we have to copy the images so the images are this one so let's move to the asset folder and let's copy all these images in this asset folder like this so this is very simple thing now again let's move to the view controller and now let's do some coding part related to the collection view so if you don't know how to populate the collection view please go and watch my collection view series all the links are mentioned in the description uh, you can go and check till then i am setting up this collection view so after setting up this collection view you will get something like this so this is right now the collection view is coming in uh, vertical format scrolling in vertical format so let's change the scrolling format or scrolling direction so the scroll direction is vertical now we have to change it to horizontal and uh, I'm using I'm just uh, done this coding to get the collection view worked so this is a UI view uh, delicate flow loud which is responsible for uh, arranging the cell of collection view and uh, in this these are the four methods you can uh, deeply understand this thing by going the collection view series and uh, the link was in the description as well as on the i button and uh, in this method i have just using our data source and delegate method so these are the two methods which we have to implement so i am using uh, a tag uv tag thing to get the image uh, it's not recommended to do this thing but i am only having a single image you can also use to create a cell class uh, separately and manage this thing now uh, let's run and check that uh, we are able to now get the uh, collection view scrolling from uh, horizontal way or not so we have get this thing but this is not uh, looking cool so first let's give it to pagination so let's move to this again and select the collection view and now we have to uh, change this to this uh, to pen uh, enable paging and just remove this show horizontal vertical indicator so this will remove the indicators of showing horizontal and vertical so this is what we have to do now so this is cool now we have to do uh, so this is the thing which we have done in the previous video also now we have to do one more thing just uh, do a hard code coding for automatic scroller as well as this pagination controller so first let's set up this pagination controller and then we will look how we can create this uh, automatic edge uh, automatic image crawler so for setting up the pagination we have to uh, first create one variable or we can simply in view did load first let's give it the number of pages have in the page controller so simply like page view dot number of pages is equals to imgar dot count simply like this and uh, uh, what is the current page at the loading time so the page view dot current page is equals to zero so the initial page is zero so that's what we have to do, do. now we have to uh, change the page view when the image is scrolling automatically so right now we are changing by using typing so we are not uh, doing this thing in this video so we have to do some hard code coding to uh, make it automatic scroller so for that first we have to implement one timer so let's one variable over here that is timer so that is uh, where timer is equals to timer like this and for maintaining the count we also need one counter so where counter is equals to zero something like this now we have to create one method that is uh, image change or change image something like this sorry func this method will be called from timer so let's set the timer first 
so timer is equals to timer dot schedule interval and in this we have to use this method this is overloaded method in which we have to we have a selector as, as well as repeats now in the time interval you can pass any time interval which you want right now i'm using uh, 1.0 and the target is self and the selector equals to hash selector and in this we have to pass that method which we have created below so we can simply use change image like this and we have to use the objective here reference so we have to write at the rate obg from the beginning this method and this in this user information is nil and uh, in repeats it's true it will automatically repeat this counter again and again so simply this is what we have to do now we have to do some coding in this change image method so in this change image method first we have to judge that what is the value of counter so if counter is uh, smaller than uh, image array dot count means if the counter is smaller than image array like for example if counter is 0 1 2 3 so we will increase the counter and as counter increases the image is automatically scrolling in collection view so for that we have to change the uh, visible cell of collection view so for that we have to write self dot uh, slider view what is the name slider collection view dot scroll to item in this we have to pass the index path so right now we are not having any index path we are using count counter thing to uh, change to store the index path so for that uh, first let's change this counter to an index so let uh, index is equals to uh, this is of index path type so index path dot init and in this init we have to use uh, this overloaded method that is item this one and this will take a parameter of int type so that's why i'm using this thing counter and section is zero if we have a dynamic sections we then we have to uh, do some other coding in which section is also judgeable now we have to pass this index to over here and in this collection view position we have to use dot center horizontal center horizontal this thing because we are having a horizontal moving and in animation we have to pass true over here something like this now after that we have to uh, increase the counter value so counter is equal plus is equals to count plus is equals to one something like this so first if counter is zero then it will come in this block it will set the image one in the uh, collection view then it will increase the counter value then this will automatically call after one second again and at that moment counter value is one increased from the previous one and the next image will be load and this series will continue till the image array dot count is greater than counter so at some state this condition will get false so we will put that that, that thing in else condition now uh, when the user come in else part means the counter is more than the image array dot count so at that moment we have to reduce the counter to zero now uh, we have to do the same thing we have to convert the index uh, this uh, counter into index so index path dot in it and in this index path dot in it we have to pass the counter and section zero now we have to set the self self dot slider slider collection view dot <coughs> scroll to item and in this we have to same index and in this uh, center horizontal and in this animation is true by doing this uh, we are now able to uh, scroll the collection view according to our need now let's check that it is working fine or not and uh, let's put this thing on the main thread so that we will uh, not get any uh, thread issue so for putting this thing on a thread dispatch queue dot main dot asynchronous and uh, just 
cut this thing and paste over here something like this now let's run again and check that it is working fine or not uh, we have to place self over here one more time one more one more place self here now let's run this thing and check that it is working fine or not so let's look so our collection view is working fine it's automatically scrolling but the page control is not working because we didn't set anything in the page controller so let's change the things in the page controller so over here page controller or that is a page view so we have to change the current page over here so dot current page is equals to counter so whatever thing in the counter it will automatically change over here and similarly the same thing over here page view dot current page is equals to counter something like this so let's look that it is working fine in the current scenario or not then we will talk about one problem which we are facing right now in this so it's working now the page controller is working correctly it will changing the selected cell and moving faster now when we move at the last cell it will uh, giving a animation that it is pulling back again at the first cell so this is not a good thing this is not a great sign uh, so we have to manage this thing also like when we have in this uh, block this is a block when we are moving from 0 1 2 3 4 at the end of the cell and when we are increased a counter beyond the image generated count then we will move in this block and here we have put the animation to true so we have to put this animation to false so let's look that after doing this thing what we will achieve so it will still working fine and uh, it's moving uh, correctly now we we reached at the end and it will uh, come at the first cell again but without showing any kind of animation so this is very awesome thing so we have created a, a image scroller completely but still there is one problem uh, when we move to from uh, last cell to the first cell we have to wait one second more just like one two yeah over here we have to wait two seconds and rest of the things are working in the one second so for that again we have set it the counter zero and this will set the first image then this cell move to over here counter is small counter is zero image rate dot count is more than zero it will come and at the moment the counter is zero so it will again set the zero image to the visible position so we have to manage this thing by over here so now we have to change the counter is equals to one after uh, showing a uh, that first image so now let's run and again check that it is working fine or not so uh, we are uh, completed this tutorial almost and uh, if you want to change the color of this uh, page controller you can go and change it on the storyboard according to your need so this is done now we don't need to wait two seconds on the first image it will scroll after the first second uh, that's cool that's completely cool and uh, this is for today uh, if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel and if you have any query or suggestion please post that thing in the comment box and i've also created a facebook group uh, so you guys can uh, join that group also and we will discuss any problem and i also post videos on that group also and if you have any problem you can post that uh, post your queries or uh, problems on that group i also answers over there uh, thank you